Hello dear visitors. Welcome to Gotcha Stereotype Zoo. My name is Sunny. I am your guide today. Please follow me for the tour. Here we have the Yuwu and Owo cats. We only have two of them right now but they come in a lot of different colors. It looks like they just woke up. YN, look, it's coming close. Meow, you woo. Please give me my bad boy, Bia. No. Uh, let's move on. Here we have the spoiled brats. The spoiled brat friends are in a different cage because together they are too dangerous and could break free. They mostly wear long dresses. Their eyes are either too blue to be true or hot pink. Their hair is any bright color. And don't forget the crown, they probably got it from Burger King. I heard that. So? Let's move on. This is the alpha boyfriend. BF of the Yu or Owo cats. They are half demon half wolf most of the time. They are very tall, mostly 8 feet. They are very overprotective of their BF and also pretty dangerous. That's why we put him a few cages away from the Yu and Owo cats. We only have one because recently one escaped. But don't worry, I heard another zoo found him and put him in a cage. Give me my kitten back, sir. Nope. Anyways, let's move on. Come on, let's continue the tour. There's still so much I want to show you. Here we have the softy. They wear clothing too big for humanity. I love oversized hoodies as well but this isn't just oversized anymore. They are also very small which makes them almost drown in their clothing. Many are very different, some human, some cat or even bunnies. Around 97% of this species are female. They are upset way too easily so be careful what you say. They also think it's quirky to be addicted to cookies. Don't ever take a cookie from a softie. It looks like it has finished its meal. YN. Why don't you give it a cookie? Oh yeah and they talk like that. WW what do you weigh in zoo creeper swimmy? Re 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 remix. It's nothing. Anyways, these softies are very alike to the cookie, kawaii and potato species, which is why they are in the same cage. And kind of alike to the awu and awu cats as well, they react the same when you take their stuff. Let's move on shall we? Here we have the fake depressed. They wanted an edgy cage like this so don't worry. It's not like I don't treat them well. I wanted to give them a cage like the others but the cage needed to be sad and edgy. Welp, not my choice anyways. I hate everything. I want to die. My life sucks. Not because I want attention 24-7 I mean ugh why does everyone hate me? Anyways, these species wear Gucci bracelets a lot. So don't worry, it didn't hurt itself. It only wants others to look at it like that so they get attention. Anyways, it looks like the others are asleep. Shall we move on to the next? Here is the cringy Yandere girl. Most of these think they are the hottest person ever. Well I hate to break it to ya but no. I don't hate all fangirls and fanboys, some of them are very nice. Don't ever touch senpai, grr. YN, now you made it angry. Don't worry she can't hurt anyone. That knife is made out of foam. Oh look it's transforming. If you steal senpai you die. Sheesh let's move on. These are the best friends of the brats. They wear the same clothing most of the time and just as the brat they face planted in their mother her makeup box. Just keep walking. These are very annoying. Here are the emos. They wanted the whole cage black. They hate pink and skirts more than anything and are very edgy. It's because pink and skirts are for losers. Whatever you say. I don't feel like arguing about something as dumb as that. Let's go. Welcome back. 
We've got a lot of new species. And before you ask what happened, I got attacked while trying to feed the Yuwu cats. Only because I didn't want to give them their bad boy BF. Anyways, follow me. We'll continue the tour. Sunny, look over there. Okay YN, be very quiet. I will try to capture it. Yay, we finally have a female Yuwu cat. I will decorate your cage soon. Here we have the totally not me teachers. They are used in gotcha mini movies. When the characters go to school, they are the teachers. Many make a funny face. Sometimes they wear their normal OC clothes, sometimes something a teacher would wear. They aren't too smart mostly and are made to make people laugh. But it quickly became an overused joke. Today we are learning about math things. It totally isn't me aka creator. Let's go to the next cage. You'll need this. Here we have the eyebleed hybrid. They wear every color in existence and mostly neon as well. They are the so-called strongest being in the universe and of course they can fly. I am a wolf, demon, angel, dragon, human, etc. Let's go. Here are the only one main color people. Nothing much to say, their name explains it. My OC is so creative. Hey, sorry, not really. Let's go. Here we have the teacher's pets are straight, eh, students. The girl is decently nice but still a teacher's pet. The boy is just rude. Can you be quiet? Geez, stupid. No, unless you start being nice for once. I hate you for no reason now. Let's go. Here is the nerd, unpopular. But when she takes her glasses off, boom. Popular girl. Let's go. Here's the hated child who is the lost princess. Let's go before it starts singing. Okay, YN, wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, you poor thing. You don't look happy. Do you want me to give you new clothes? Come on, YN. Let's go to my office room. Okay, is that hot pink your natural eye color? All right, let's take those lenses out then. Okay, let me get some new clothes for you. Here, go put these on. Wait, I forgot something. Ah, almost forgot. Let's continue the tour. Here we have the ones who use a preset as their OC. There isn't much to tell about them. My OC is very creative. No, it's literally a preset. Let's go. These aren't very common. Their OC looks pretty good but then there's the hair. Sheesh I have no words for how awful the hair is oh well at least the color isn't as bad as the hybrid color explosion. Let's just leave them be. It seems like they haven't even noticed us. Here are the people who talk with their mouth closed. Their name pretty much explains it. Hello. That's what I mean. Kinda creepy if you see it up close and GL. Okay okay. I admit I was once one of these. But that was because I was too lazy to change mouth every time. Since Gotcha Club wasn't out back then. Another thing about them. If more people are together and one talks, you don't know who is talking. Anyways shall we go? Bye. Here is the so-called scary demon. The blood is always very red and unrealistic. Typical eye colors are neon red and pitch black. Same as their skin color. Mostly used in scary gotcha videos are those fake glitch things. Don't be afraid, it can't hurt anyone. Come on, let's move on. Here we have the rich and abusive parents. They're either from very rich or very poor families. We only have these two since these two are together. They're mostly seen in gotcha mini movies and are mean and almost always drunk. Let's go to the next cage.
These are very common. When they make their OC, they only choose of the first or second page. Their OCs are just very basic and mostly have bright colors. They don't use a lot of movement or mouths, which are sometimes open when they aren't even talking. Or closed when they talk. Come, let's go. Here are the athletic ones nothing much to say about them. Just look at them and it will all be explained. Wow, that's really impressive. Come on, let's go. These are mostly seen in gotcha horror movies. There are way more but we only have these. This group always splits up. We have the confident one, they are never scared, mostly the leader as well the scaredy cat who gets scared at the smallest noise and the drama queen who is only scared her hair gets all messy it's getting late let's go to the zoo's hotel Thanks you utterly disgusting thing. OMG freedom. So, I guess we will part ways now too. NNNOTT that they might us still be out to you there. It's here. There there, it's okay, I'm here. Even though there's nothing there. Oh, hello. Run as far as you can, alright. No, I'm scared I don't want to be alone. Just go already. Sorry, it's okay. Just go, alright. There are people around who can help you. Oh yeah, I forgot. The hair of this species never lines up. I don't hate it, I just find it very annoying to look at. Anyways, these are pretty common, but we don't have much of them. Let's move on to the next. Okay, this is a weird species. Mostly seen in gotcha mini movies, they're a couple. I know, you're probably thinking, Sunny? They look like siblings. Yep, everyone thinks that, but back in 2018, this was very common to see. Let's go, this is grossing me out. I think everyone did this at some point, these are the only two we have of these. The species makes an OC and puts it in a fandom like they were always there. Many are seen in Affin family videos, they make themselves a part of the Affin family. They are most likely, the strongest and best. Because of course they are. Cliche much, anyways let's move further. Here we have the pick me girls, we have more but the others seem to be asleep. I'm so ugly, sad face. Yes, you're correct. You are indeed ugly. Hey, don't be mean, I'm not ugly. They're big attention seekers if you haven't already noticed. The species uses the OC of a popular gotcha tuber or YouTuber. And when someone points that out, they say they copied them. Even though everyone knows it the other way around. Wolfie Chu copied my OC. I totally didn't copy hers. These have their mouth open at almost all times. Hello. Hey there. Okay, you can close your mouth. Why? You know what? Never mind. Come on. Let's go. Be free stereotypes. Be free. Here are the ones who use a different color for everything. Also not very common. That's why we only have one. They also have to use every slot with accessories etc. 
They fill up every accessory slot and use a different color for everything. Even if it's only the outline you can't even see the OC that well. These use adjustments for almost everything possible. They are mostly very creative when it comes to making OCs. These are the opposite of the previous ones. They don't use adjustments at all which makes the OC look a bit boring. Some are at least creative with colors or at least try to be. But the ones we have just used the default boy color scheme. Oh wow look at the time. I think we should head back to the hotel. Well, we have a problem some stereotypes escaped. Wait, let me call someone who can maybe help. Heyo. Hey there, Sunny. What's up? Well, oh, you know my zoo, right? Yeah. Some stereotypes escaped. Oh, really? Is there maybe a way you can help? Sure thing. I'll be on my way soon. Alright, thanks so much. See you soon then. Not a problem. See you soon. Hey, welcome back. We have some new stereotypes, but we also need to catch some more. Luckily, most of them are in their cages again, which was difficult, but we did it. Let's go continue the tour, shall we? A small robot? Let's restore it. There, way better. It's programmed to catch the stereotypes. Let's give it a fitting name we'll call it, the catcher because it'll catch stereotypes. Now, your first mission is to catch her. Mia? I'll get trapped. Okay, please help catch stereotypes while I continue the tour. Here we have the Rainbow Sisters, the name explains it. Sometimes as well call the Marked Sisters. Mostly black or white etc. are lost siblings which they later find. Most of the times they are human but become wolf later in the series. Let's go! Here is the couple where the one is tall and the other short AF. The bottom is mostly soft and the top alpha. Not all gacha couples are like this it's just this stereotype. Here we have a typical baddie. They have a gun for some reason. Most have a lollipop at all times and IDKY to be honest. They are very edgy. And, not like the other girls, let's move further. These use fandom characters as their, OC. Some just like the character. Some are IRLs or roleplay accounts etc. Most of these are very nice. But some claim the character is their OC. Here we have the nice brats. They dress very pink and feminine. They're very kind. Let's go. These make their OC full animal and make their OC have a owner. Not too common. Let's go. These are the braggers. They're very annoying. The others seem to be asleep. OMG haha I have like 100k I'm better than you. Yeah yeah just stop bragging. Come on. This is annoying lol. Here we have the weird cores their name explains it. They made their OC weird core. A conehead you good? Ah, yeah, right. Oh okay, let's move. Don't wanna stay here for too long hey. Here we have the cringe kids. Quirky wannabes they think they're quirky and cool. They think they're funny, well nah. Come on. Let's go to the next cage. Shall we? These use not too popular eyes which makes an OC look very original. These are kinda common lately it is cool how creative people can be. Let's go. Here are some taller adult UWU cats other than like the normal UWU cat these wear other colored clothes. Can we please go now? I don't wanna be here any longer. 
E. W. Hi, welcome back. It's been long, isn't it? Well, I'm back now, and I have new stereotypes to show you. Bad stereotypes like the UWU cats are in school, learning to be better people. Don't worry though, I still have enough new stereotypes to show. Follow me, we'll continue the tour. Here we have the Mary Sue. They are perfect, in every way, with often no flaws. Their character is boring, because their creator made them perfect. No flaws, everyone loves them, they're really pretty etc etc. These are the only ones we have of this species, but they are very common. Come on, follow me. There's more I want to show you. Ugh, I told you to run. Not stand still. This is your own fault you know. Sorry, I just... Eh, uh, guys, hurry up, I don't want to be here. Besides that, thing, could be here any moment. Yes, yes we know. Here we have some Sons fangirls. They wear Sons his hoodie and are obsessed with ketchup. There exist casual ones who aren't obsessed with ketchup, nor always wear his hoodie as well but we don't have any at the moment. These are nice ones. They love Sons but don't act cringe and possessive over him. Here are the cringy and mostly NSFW ones. They are possessive and kill over the internet. They often have names like, blank the hot rainbow unicorn wolf Sons girlfriend and wife, or so and say. I know I'm hot and stuff but I'm taken, like girl, no one wants you please, let's move further. Here we have a typical alternative OC. For some reason they only wear black and hot pink. They look soft and edgy at the same time. Not every alt person is like that, coming from an alternative person myself. These are just how they mostly are in the gacha community. There isn't too much to say about them. How about we move on, let's go. Here we have the main character, most of these are female, they have your typical main character backstory. No parents, trauma, depressing backstory, they are the chosen one etc. There isn't much to say about these, unlike that they were so often used it wasn't original anymore. Let's go shall we? Here are the aesthetic ones. They have a nice outfit that mixes well together. They wear mostly pastel colors and their outfits are pleasing to look at. The stereotypes mostly love boba tea for some reason. I guess for the aesthetic. Oh well. These are way less bad than all the others let's go to the next cage. Here we have nice and normal softies. They aren't obsessed with cookies, talk normally and don't wear clothes from a tent store. They're nice and mostly wear cute colors. They come in male and female, but most are females. There isn't much to say about this species so let's go. Here are the vampires. Because of the sun this cage is inside, at night they get to go outside. We currently only have one of them. There is almost nothing to say about these so let's move further. Here we have the illegal shippers. As the name says they ship illegal ships. Or they ship from a fandom. Even when the creator said they are uncomfortable with ships. I ship Hero X Kel. Oh heck no. That's disgusting. Just like you. Anyways. Let's get the heck away. Away from this disgusting creature. Here are the fairies. We have two. But the other seems to be sleeping. They come in many different colors. The hair color white being the rarest. Nothing much else to say. So let's go. Here's the one that keeps changing their OC I used to be one of these, sadly. Wow, did you see that? They changed OC. That's so... Totally not rare LMAO. Let's move further. Here is a mix in match couple. Probably soulmates, they fit together like a puzzle. One has pink hair and blue clothes, the other has blue clothes and pink hair. They come in many many different colors. We only own one couple though. Anyways. 
Let's go to the next cage, shall we? This is the cage of the twins that don't look like twins they don't look alike, the hair color is also different. Okay it could be painted but it's not. They also don't have the same eyes. Maybe they just don't want to look like twins lol. Come. I'll show you the next cage. Here we have the boring ones. These have barely any accessories or adjustments. Their personality is also too casual. Which is pretty boring if you make stories. Anyways, there isn't too much I can tell about these. Shall we move on? Here are the ones with way too much tint. Wow, you can't even see their character. Come, follow me. I'll show you the opposite of these. There isn't anything much to say about these, so I'll make this quick. These don't use tint at all, which is fine. But I just personally think tint finishes a character. Here are the ones that don't use adjustments at all. It's pretty boring, but some people can make it look okay. I prefer to use adjustments to stay original, but everyone has their own amazing style. Here are the no effort ones. They change a little bit from a preset and call it their OC. They also walk in the standing pose, and mostly talk with their mouth closed. These are either lazy, or beginners. Either way I don't judge lol. Oh my. It's getting late. I think we should find a place to sleep. Here we have the badly made fandom characters. Basically the off-brand versions of them. It's okay. Everyone started somewhere. I did too I mean. Look at my old Undertale designs very, interesting. Anyways, these often have bad designs. They just look low quality and like no effort is put in. I don't have anything else to say. So let's go. Here's the ones that always use black outline. They use a black outline for everything. There's nothing much to say about these. They're pretty normal. Let's go. This is the psycho wannabe. She thinks she's quirky and cool. <laughs> nah fam, you're not at all. And stop with the hyena laugh already. Oh what now? You're angry. Oh no, are you gonna kill us with that rubber knife? No, I'm so scared of you. Don't hurt me, blah blah, whatever. Come visitors, let's get going. These are alike to the previous one. Here we have the cute but psycho kids. They think they're cute and quirky. But in reality they are sad excuses of human beings. Well. Let's wait no longer. Let's go. There's still more I want to show. This is the cage of the maid femboys. They are femboys and always wear maid dresses. They come in human as well, though we only have two cat boys. They are sometimes falsely accused of being an UWU cat. These are nothing alike to them in personality. Some people say I look like an UWU cat only because I have pink hair with cat ears and a dress lol. Well, anyways, let's move further. You, again, are you kidding me? How do you keep finding us no matter what? You know what, enough. Let's try to fix you. Alright, fixing you will be difficult, since you actually are this way. Unlike the one on our team, you wanted to be this way. Well, I hope I can fix you. Guys, Make sure she stays here, alright? I'll get new clothes for this, thing. Found some, here, put these on. Ah, way better, ain't it? Now, please act normal and not like, yeah no, that. 
I'll be sending you to a school to act better. If your personality becomes better maybe you can join us, but I don't know yet. We really have to go now, visitors are waiting. Now I have to continue the tour another day because of you. Hello my dear visitors. I hope you're excited to join me on the last part of tour. Don't worry, there will possibly be a continuation, but we don't have many new stereotypes, we set them all free. Except for the ones we send to rehabilitation schools of course. But we are very excited to announce our new member. Bring her in guys. We're more than happy to have you. Ugh, I told you guys. We should have stayed at the zoo. Now we're lost. Sorry for that guys. Let's just keep going. We should rest here for a bit. What do you mean, rest? That thing is still out there. I just want to leave. My hair is messed up, I lost my hat, and my skirt is ripped. My life is ruined. For fuck's sake, just sit down. And get my dress dirty? No. Fine, if you guys want to stay, stay. I'm leaving. You, you can't just leave. You might get K killed if you're alone. Shut up, no one asks you anything. I'm leaving. Wait, no. No, just let me go. Ugh, I can't believe they actually wanted to stay there. Huh? Oh no, I'm lost. Damn it, I should have stayed with them. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have walked off. It's okay, at least you're safe again. Let's go guys, I found a way back. Sunny, remember us? Oh you poor souls. What happened? We prefer not to talk about it. Could you help us? Yeah, of course. Come with us. Thank you so much for the help and new clothes. Not a problem. I'm glad you guys are safe now. Maybe instead of being a group that always splits up, you should stay together. Take care of yourselves and feel free to visit anytime. Oh, hello. You're still here for the tour, huh? Well, I do have a few more stereotypes I can show you. Here we have one of those with a really detailed eye. This one looks really nice until they blink. It's actually really creative and pretty though. These are the ones from those 2018 gotcha rap battles. It was always the same, and those who had to sing against each other always had a crush on each other. Even though they look like genderbend versions of themselves. And also, the last ones were always emo and most of the time the best singers, because cliche shit. This is one of those stereotypes who think they're the queen of gotcha. Names vary between gotcha the hottest, the best gotcha tuber ever and the hot queen of gotcha. I don't know but I think many of these are satire. At least I sure hope so. There's nothing much I can say about this guy except for that he is the definition of, my eyes are up here. Oh look, there's the opposite one. Here we have stereotypical female fanfiction YN she's a Mary Sue often seen in fanfics. She's the most popular and powerful and mostly badly written. Even though YN is supposed to represent the reader and not some overpowered girly girl. There are many different ones but this is the only one I have at this zoo. There's tomboy YN who would rather die than wear pink or a skirt. There's innocent YN who has the mentality of a toddler and way more. And also, for some reason male YN is rare. No one really knows why. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Thanks for letting me be your tour guide. Take care.
Where the heck are we? You're in the post-credits.